What is it, Charlie? A treasure chest. Well, should we go out on our adventure today, guys? Yeah. Awesome. Kind of diamond -y rock. Oh, James found the first treasure of the road trip. With my head in the clouds and my feet on the map, we go chasing the sun and we'll follow the map. When this world's got me feeling small, I'll be sure to tell my story whenever our adventure comes. Hey, Charlie, there's something at the door. Let's go see. Yeah, no, bye. Let's go. I just heard the doorbell ring. There's a treasure chest. You think there's a treasure chest? Yeah. Let's see. A package. Beach house family. Okay, let's go inside. Come on inside, Charlie. There's a package. It's a treasure package. Yeah, Okay, let's open it up. Come on. Not quite yet. Oh, Charlie's bringing the package in here. <laughs> what is it, Charlie? A treasure chest. <laughs> treasure box. Everybody sit down on the floor in front of me. Everybody sit down. Everybody sit. I feel big and fat, but it's small uh, This nice. is going to be exciting. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. To the Beach House family. Cool. The Beach House family, I hope you enjoy these handmade bags and honey fur friend dolls. You are all such an inspiration to kids and families everywhere. My goal at the Honey Fur is to encourage adventure and to hang on to childhood as long as possible. Your family is the poster family for my vision of the Honey Fur. My biggest hope is that these bags will get filled to the brim with treasures, imagination, and adventure. Take care and happy treasure hunting. Lauren Densley, owner of the Honey Fur. Okay, so let's see what's inside this treasure box. No treasure chest. Yes, we need to open up this box already, Mom. Hold on. It says, oh, derived God. from a story I read about chest. one little girl's perception of the nature around her in the fields of North Cambridgeshire, England. As she wandered, she ran her fingers over the soft seeds and rushes and described them as honey fur. May this handmade bag inspire your own little one to explore the world around them, filling it with their own version of honey fur. I think we're ready. Please. Oh, it says Elizabeth. That's for you, oh, Ellie. Oh, this says Charlie on it. That's your treasure. Oh, this one says Corbin. Whoa. Wait, this one says James. Cool. There's nothing in mine. That's because you have to fill it with treasures. Oh, there's something in mine. Oh, Ellie got a little doll in oh. yours. And Charlie got, got a little got doll little too. Airplane. And there's another little airplane. That's here. Corbin's airplane. And I have oh, an airplane. Oh, so these are handmade. I have an airplane. Handmade, and look, they have a little pouch on the back that you can put stuff in. That's really big. Oh, I like how it's just like really big. You can put your hand all the way over. Yeah, and then a big so, pouch. So look, Corbin. Too. So show him how to use too. it. You cinch it tight, and then you can wear it just like a backpack. And then when we go out, because guess what we're going to do today? Look for treasure. We're going to go out on a walk. And we're going to collect things that we might find that are interesting and fun. And you can use your backpacks to put them in. Oh, it's a new coat. <laughs> Is that a little guy? <laughs> so Ellie and Charlie got these cute little handbags and they can put their treasures inside that they find while we're going and for a hike. This big of a bag. And Corbin and James got some big bags. Cool. Well, should we go out on our adventure today, guys? Yeah. Awesome. Let's go for a nature walk and collect things in our bag. Seems like everybody's ready. I've got my backpack loaded down with all the food for this adventure that we're going on today. And all these guys have their treasure bags empty and ready to fill with goodies. You ready to go? James, you got your compass? He's got his trusty compass ready to go. Yeah, that way. Telling us which way to go. Let's go that way. I got the water bottle, babe. That Let's way. go. You ready to go, beauty? Yeah, I got stuff in my teeth. <laughs> We 
is absolutely gorgeous out today. The most perfect temperature. I think it's probably 60 degrees out. I'm in short sleeves and shorts. I got my vibrant five fingers on. I'm feeling great. I should have a ponytail in my hair because it's making me all what? sweaty. <laughs> this is kind of diamondy rock. Oh, James found the first treasure of the road trip. Cool. Put it in your bag. These are kind of cool. So those rocks are cool. So anytime you find cool treasures along the way, if you find cool rocks, put them in your bag. I found a glittery one. Cool, Ellie. Even though there's snow on the ground a little bit, it seriously feels like 80 degrees. I'm starting to sweat just from walking up the hill. <laughs> So it's pretty nice, it's I'd so say. Dirt. And a little muddy. Slightly muddy dirt. Whoever's not walking is gonna get hit by a snowball. Hurry up, guys! Start rocking, or you're gonna get hit by a snowball. There's a snow monster in the road. Look at this rock. Look Ooh. At this cool rock. Dad, look at this rock. All right, you're with me, Charlie. Wow. <laughs> you're on top of the world, eh? You're on top of the world, eh? We know this for tomorrow. <laughs> I'm making you fall down by my singing? Uh oh. Oh. You guys should see the skipping rock I found. Ooh, that's a good skipping rock, dude. How about that view? That's pretty cool. Nature provided us with the most awesome playground ever. You can see all the fish in the water. Good job, little adventurer. <laughs> Look at this cool rock I found. Whoa! It's not a rock. Oh, what is it? Gummy. <laughs> Ew, gross. Uh, guys, do you see that? Whoa! Gems and rubies. Put it in your treasure bags. You can have Give one to Ellie. Thank you. Oh, this one. Cool, I want to see it. Wow. wow. Look at mine! Oh, that's very cool, babe. It's very amazing. cool. If you just look very hard, here, you can see it cut lots of stuff. Dad wants me to come over here. On tree branches, you can find bird's nests. Have you guys ever seen a bird's nest before? Yeah, yeah at our old house. Here, let me see the camera. Let's look and see if you can find some bird's nests in the trees. That would be kind of a cool treasure to find. Let me know if you guys see any eggs in the tree or any bird's nests. Smells like Christmas. Yeah, because these are pine trees. I think I found some bird's eggs. Look at that. Check them out, guys. We found some bird's nests. Bird's eggs. Don't touch it. Those are birds. No, they're candy. You think they're not bird's eggs? Only way to know is to try it, huh? Yeah. That's a bird's egg. This? Mm hmm. No, no. It's chocolate. Arrgh. We should show mom that we found it and tell her that we found bird's eggs. We found bird eggs in the tree. Look at this speckled bird egg that we found. It was actually found. in a tree? It was in a bird's nest. And you're I just eating it? it? I want one. We found a real bird oh, egg, Ellie. No, they don't oh. taste like birds. They taste like chocolate. I want some. But it's Whoa. real. It's a bird egg. See? Okay, well maybe you guys need to go explore. I want one. You gotta come exploring if you guys want to find eggs. Let's go exploring. Yay! Yay! Let's go find some more eggs, Charlie. You never know what you're gonna find up here, dude. You never know what you're gonna find when you go on an adventure. What's that thing on that post, guys? Is it just a piece of rock? What if it's a marker for something? Is there anything in there? I wanna see in there. Take that out. It's cool. I wanna look inside. Cans and stuff. Whoa! Charlie! Corbin, Ellie, look 
<laughs> There's some gems here. Ellie, there you go. There's a green gem. Oh, I got something even better. There's some more bird's eggs over here. There's four of them and there's four kids. So everybody gets I one bird egg. This. It's a pink. <laughs> it's a pink bird egg. So guys, not all the treasure that you find when you go on nature hikes are rocks. Sometimes plants can have pretty cool little treasures too. Have you guys ever seen one of these before? Yeah. yeah. Do you know what this is? An acorn. A of an acorn. It's a, called an acorn top. And acorn tops are really cool. Do you want to know why? Because you can make a really loud, loud whistle with one of these. Did you know that? No. Let me show you. Look. Watch. So if you hold an acorn top in between your two thumbs like this and you create a V, see how my two thumbs are spreading open like a V? If you let just a little bit of the acorn top poke out the top, and then you put your lips right here and blow. Listen. <laughs> Did you know you could do that with an acorn top? <laughs> now you guys are gonna have to practice. It takes a lot of practice. But I learned how to do this when I was James's age. When I was your age, I learned how. You'll have to take turns, but guess what? I found that on the trail when we were hiking and I picked it up. So if you ever need an emergency whistle, find an acorn. Hey, you're almost there, dude. Put your thumbs together like this, like like backwards to each other. If you keep whistling, somebody might think we're in trouble and come. Uh, That's what happens together. when you whistle in the middle of the wilderness. You did it! Good job, dude! You figured it out! <laughs> That's get a buckle, awesome. get a buckle before he gets out. Oh, no. <laughs> Okay, okay, that's enough whistling. The, the other thing that you need to know is that if you whistle too much in the middle of the wilderness, somebody might come and say, what's or wrong? An or an animal might come and attack you because they hate that sound. I don't know. <laughs> All right, James went and found his own acorn top so he can whistle it without Corbin. Yeah, Corbin has right his own. We're all over. Of them, right here. There's some right here. That's kind of a dirty one. Acorns. There's one right here. I always the blow acorn. them out real good. Oh. All sorts of treasure. Oh. He said, he was like, whoa! <laughs> There's a real bird's nest over there. A real bird's nest? Yeah. We need to make sure that we respect nature, so if there's a real bird's nest, I don't want to touch it because I don't want any of the actual bird's eggs to get hurt or broken or anything. So we'll we'll keep our distance from the real bird's nests, though. Yeah, there's no chocolate eggs in that one. The trip is over and Corbin is showing all of us the spoils, all the cool rocks he found. So let's take a look at the cool treasures that Corbin found on our trip today. Show us some of your favorites there, dude. I've this... seen a lot of rocks. This is a cool one. You found a golf ball out there yeah. in the field, huh? That was cool. Look at this one. Ooh, that one's got gold on it. Yeah. Awesome. And look at this one. It's kind of like Saturn, but only with brown knots, like rings around it. Oh, that one does look like Saturn. That's cool, dude. Yeah, but it doesn't have rings around it. Okay. And look at these. You can make a whistle with them. Show me how you learned how to whistle. I'm almost learning how. I found some of these. If you put rubies around this, you would probably make something super cool, like a golf ruby ball. <laughs> That's cool. A golf ball with rubies on it. All right, now let's come over and see what James found on the trip. I found... Some rope. That's kind of cool. Oh, James found a whole bunch of Look acorn tops. These are the coolest ones. Very cool. Okay, Ellie, let's see what you found, baby. Guess what? Ooh, you got a lot of gravel. And this. Oh, that's a cool one. You found some good flat rocks for skipping, huh? I wasn't just trying to look at the Hobby Lobby. Oh, you found a treasure too. Let's put utensils in for when we gather with family. Oh, cute. Hey, look, <laughs> I've got this too. Very cool. These are all my favorite ones. Those are very cool, cool. Well, you know what, guys? I hope that you had fun. Corbin, yeah. did you have a good time? Yeah. Good. Of all the treasures we found, this memory that we have together with the family is the greatest treasure of all. You know that? Yeah. The family is the treasure after all. That's right. <laughs> when we were kids, we sang it at the playground.